My name is Devin Braden. I'm 25 years old from Vancouver, British Columbia. Hockey at a young age was my big passion though. It was what I wanted to pursue for my life goal. I was in the gym five days a week on the ice, usually six to eight times a week. The injuries I received while playing hockey started at a, a fairly young age. When I was about 13, I received multiple concussions. I tore my hip flexor off the bone, but it was the playoffs and being dedicated to my team, I, I still played. All those injuries just ended up wreaking havoc on my body. They put my hips and my back out of line, so my back was constantly in pain. I remember I was actually unable to bend over to tie my shoes. It was a team that I didn't feel I could pursue my dream and really I couldn't further my goal. It was devastating to me to think that at such a young age this was the beginning of my new life after hockey and it consisted of pharmaceuticals and, and back pain and unclear thoughts and due to the concussions I had speech problems and I I was very unconfident in myself. I was on commercial drive in Vancouver and I was in a store and there was one meditation and health magazine. It really piqued my interest. In March of 2014, I decided to commit myself to the eight and a half day meditation retreat. It was, it was amazing. It felt very warm and just like this beautiful, healing energy was surrounding me and embracing me. I just, I felt like I was at home. And it was such a relief that I hadn't felt in six or seven years. It was just so amazing. And then it, there was a point where it's like something got triggered and I just broke down into tears and I was just bawling and bawling and bawling. And I was, I was able to release again some more emotional pain and my family was such a huge support system for me growing up and, and allowing me to pursue my dreams. My, my dad dedicated himself to taking me to every practice, to every game. And at this point, I hadn't had a relationship with my dad for a little over a year. It broke my heart. When I called my dad though, it was, it was the most amazing thing. About five minutes before we ended the conversation, I told my dad, I'm like, Dad, you know, at the beginning of this conversation, it was like, it was a thunderstorm outside, and now I look outside and there's not a cloud in the sky. It was this bright, sunny day. Life now, without the suffering, everything I had dreamed and I could wish for and I could ask for, um, I wake up in the morning and I'm, I'm free to do what I want. I'm able to ride my bike along the seawall and go to the beach and play sports with my friends and I'm just free. I'm, I'm able to be a 25-year-old, healthy, active, normal person. It's one of the most amazing feelings in the world.